Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Um, I am working on, I think it's part five of our lap book junk journal using Sherry Baldy's junk journal kit. I have not forgotten. I did not forget. Now, um, for this here, I have added some book binding cloth that I purchased at Amazon because I wanted to reinforce my spine since there is going to be a lot of opening and closing. Hopefully this is going to be a journal that the person that gets it um, can utilize to um, write down their everyday thoughts, I guess. And so the problem was is that I used scrapbook.com's um, score tape. It wasn't so good. It's not the Sue Ann score tape. It was their brand of score tape. So um, it keeps lifting. So I'm having to constantly um, see right there. There's a perfect example. Um, so I have to constantly keep pressing down on it. The good thing about that is that it, this cloth is just to reinforce my spine. So I'm, I am going to be covering it up with some decorative paper and some trims so that's not going to be such a huge problem because I will use some Fabri-Tac uh, to adhere all that down so that's not going to be a huge problem the problem um, if I was to use that tape on other pages then I would have had a really huge problem so I can fix this I can fix that yes alright so I've added um, some elastic last time we left off I had um, an issue with the elastic so I went to Hobby Lobby and I purchased this um, elastic. It is a three millimeter by three yards of black elastic. And I bought it when it was 50% off, so I paid a dollar. So not bad at all. Um, and I believe this week they have all that stuff on sale. You guys saw me decorate this. And then the only thing that you did not see me do is I added this little beautiful trim again from Hobby Lobby when it's 50% off. Um, to attach my elastic, of course, I pierced some holes into the uh, book binding cloth, inserted it through here, in here, and it's right here. I have not cut these off, and I will eventually, um, because I just wanted to make sure that this is the right fit um, so it's not wiggling off my book. So um, here in a little bit, I will probably be snipping that off. Now, over here, we're working on a pocket. I've used a recycled uh, file folder that I've cut to size to fit right in here. Now, this one's uh, four and three quarters by, yeah, four and three quarters by eight and three quarters. And I've stitched around the edges. It's been coffee dyed. It's so beautiful. Gosh, it's so beautiful. And then I took the We Are Memory Keepers. Uh, tab punch and I t punched out a tab and so that's going to go just like that right there and I've taken one of the Sherry Baldy's uh, junk journal pages I've cut it to size and I've sewn there and this one is five inches by four and a half inches so four and a half inches wide by five inch I've marked made a little marking in the center and I'm going to take my little round punch so I can cut a tab. Mm, hopefully, that is the center right there. I like my. Um, I used to like my um, Stampin' Up punch because it had a little line in the middle that I could use as a guide. So I'm hoping that is the center. Okay. All right. Now I'm just going to distress. Let me use my glass band. So we're going to put that like so here. And right in there. It could go down a little bit. Right there. And then that way we can add a little. And notice I didn't cover this here. I wanted to expose some of that because that's the reason why I coffee dyed it, right? So. That is why that is not covered up. All right, I'm going to use some Fabri-Tac. As we have discovered, Fabri-Tac is wonderful for um, paper. 
we go. I'm just going to do a U around the edge there. Don't want to get too much so we don't cover the pocket insert portion. All right, I'm going to put that, flush it down to the bottom, like so, exposing just a tad bit of the bottom. You guys probably can't see, but I just expose a little bit there and some on the sides here. Again. It's a good thing about um, using Fabri-Tac that you can ha you have that wiggle room that you can move, shift um, things around. Okay, I'll grab my bone folder and we're going to varnish, 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 varnish. If I can find my bone folder. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to use one of the. What do you call those dies that young Seuss gifted me? Be cool to make it for one of the tags. Okay. Burnish that really good because it has a stitch. You want to make sure you burnish that really good. So that's going to go just like that. I am going to distress just, just a tad bit more. So that's going to go right there. I'm just going to go ahead and glue that down. I might just leave um, the top so that something else could be inserted in there. Just as an extra little pocket maybe. You know right here we're not going to put any. Oh you know what. No we'll go ahead and do that because I'll just go ahead and seal this part. My tip off. Clean my tip off so I'm not getting all that strings. Some of the stitches. And pressing down on that really good because it does have stitches. You want to make sure you burnish that really good. You know, that's very important. If you get any seepage, because it's kind of gummy, just take your little um, your little rubber eraser and just kind of remove all that tackiness. It's easy to do it that way. It helps. It's helped with the gum, removing some of that gumminess. So now we have a pocket here and we're going to probably add some tags. I've sewn this one here. Um, again, it's from her collection and the person that gets it can write little notes. We can probably tuck that right in there if it fits. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, hopefully. No, it's not going to fit there either. Bummer. So we might have to trim this. All right, that's no biggie. That is not a biggie. So we'll find something that we can fit in there. And of course, this little junk journal collection has all kinds of goodies that we can use. Um, let's see, I have some out here. 
Here's a smaller one. It's already been distressed, and they can put little notes in there. Um, that they can put in there, and I could probably put that just like so in there, like that. And I'm looking at all the little goodies from this collection, and we can put one of these here. Punch that out. Mm -hmm. What else do we have? We have some tags. We have more tags. Put that in there. And I'm just adding little tidbits of stuff that this person might want. We have little tickets. And I need to punch these out because it looks like I did not punch them out. Here, I need to stress this little a different color. Let's go with a different color. Yeah, let's go with this one. And I'm just going to do an L. another little pocket right there. Down. Okay. That way what we can do is add more maybe another little tag that we can tuck in there. part is I think the longest process of it to be honest it is I think in my opinion it's the, the, the longest process of all I'm gonna put that right there because it fits perfectly right there and do I have any chipboard that I can use here laying around I like to use chipboard as a 3d effect so let me find some chipboard okay so, didn't realize I was not recording, but this is what I did. I used one of the um, dies from um, Crafter's Companion. This is a 15 metal dies, classic Art Deco. Um, and so I used this one right here. And I cut out one, I used one of Sherry Baldy's papers and I cut out one of these scraps. I just kind of cut it out and I thought that it would look great on this little um, one of her paper collections. I trimmed it down to size and it is three and five eight, three and five eight by five and a half three and five eight by five and a half and this fit perfectly right there and even the color scheme so that's what we we're going to do with that and, and I sewed around the edges so sorry about that you didn't you didn't get to see that but you didn't miss a whole lot other than sewing and 
die cutting, right? Okay. Not that you needed to see all that, but I know some of you guys sometimes want to see it. Um, so we're just going to let that sit for a little bit. And that's going to go right in here, just like so. Remember I had thought about putting that card? Well, I changed my mind. Um, we're going to put the card, yes, but I wanted to put something else. So for the card, I went ahead. This is where I thought I was video recording. I put a piece of chipboard to give it a 3D dimensional. And it says best wishes, but this is for someone that, um, you know, I know. And she's recuperating from something. So, I wanted to change that word. So, I have the Tim Holtz. Just had it here. Remember this. And she's a pretty fun person. So, I think there's a lot of memories I'm sure she has that she can put in there instead of best wishes, you know. She could write something, journal something about something she needed to remember. Maybe about her experience. Um, in the last couple of months that I know she's been recuperating from something. So we're going to put that to cover that there. And I'll just use my hot glue for this to make it quick and easy. Okay. Let's see this here. So that'll go there, that'll go there, right? And then we have this little, I sewed around the edges. Got some buttons here, because buttons always look great. I have some fibers. Fibers are also great. For stuff. And I like fibers. So I'm going to do that right there. Let's pick a button here. I had some here. Hold on, because I got some already buttoned. Let's put... Already stitched, not buttoned. That one has a little bit of a... Um, An anchor. I don't think she needs an anchor. Okay, so we're going to put that button right there. It's perfect. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. A little bit of craziness, you know. And that'll go like so there. And then I punched out um, with the Stampin' Up! tab punch that was gifted to me. I miss Jackie Huff. I punched out a tab, and this little card is going to go in that one pocket. And this one measures four inches by five and three quarter inch. And I put the tab punch, sewed around the edges, and that's going to go in there, tucked in there, like so. So she's got plenty of stuff to tuck in there. Right, and I could probably add another little tag in here for her, um, for her to journal in, or I can, I can use one of these little tags, tickets. And I'm probably just going to staple this one down. I'm not making such a big 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 let's see do I, how do I want this one mm -hmm. put it right there and I'm just gonna staple this just like that that way she can just pull it, you know, just like that. And 
And I can add a little embellishment down here just to decorate that down here. Let's add a little button. Because everything I think looks pretty with a button. In my opinion. Okay, so we have that. And I could probably add a button. I don't know. Let's put a button on that. I just like buttons. I don't know why. Okay. So we have all that going there. And this person can just pull out this one here and write in journal. Tuck it back in there. And they can pull this one out, write in journal. I could probably put a button there as well. Let's see if we find something. Uh, notice I like buttons, guys. I do. I like buttons. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's 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 put some twine through there. I'm sure my friend likes buttons too. I think she does. I think she does. Love button guys. There's so much you can do with buttons. You can do jewelry with buttons. You can make your layouts prettier with buttons. Your journals prettier with buttons. There's so much you can do with buttons. Can't go wrong with buttons. If you ever see it in your stores, your thrift stores in particular, the older the better. It just gives it character. Pick it up. Take it home. Give it new life. Someone forgot about it, and you're going to use it. Okay, so there's that. Those are those beautiful pieces there. Okay, um, I could probably, I got these at um, Tuesday morning, and they have some little cute stuff in there that we can use as well. All right, so here, um, we haven't done much to this one. I should have reinforced these, and I didn't when I was making it. So that was my suggestions to you guys, to make sure you guys reinforce that. Um, but that's the little accordion. And she can probably put some mementos in there, I don't know. Um, I'll probably cut out some music sheets or something and tuck it in there. Alright, so we have that it's done. That pocket is totally done. I could probably add a little piece of trim here so she can have something to put a pencil in. Um, yeah, let's do that. Where's my trim? Right here. I'm wondering if that will hold a pencil. Probably not. Hmm. I'll think about what I want to put there. I think I'm going to find something that I can put there that will hold a pencil. I think I need something thicker than this. We'll think about something here. All right, so we have that. We have this. I could probably, uh, let's see. haven't decorated really um, the other pages of the junk journal. I think I'm just going to make um, it very simple. Um, so we have these pages for the junk journals. And I think I'm just going to add like a tad bit here and there. Maybe something like this there. Um, for her to use for journaling. Um, not too much. I'm not going to go really crazy. 
um, in these pages. And let's see. I'm sure you guys are probably like, what? You're not decorating that? Yeah, sometimes you don't have to decorate every page. So we're going to probably do this here. And then go and do an L shape. library card that I have coffee dyed I know I didn't make these pages really really fancy guys um, and I can but I'm very limited on my time and so I can probably tuck that there Like these, I went really all out. I really went all out. But, guys, time is of an essence, right? And so when you're limited on time, you make do with what you can. I'm going to go do an L shape on this library card so we can tuck something in the back. And I am so limited on my time. I kid you not. I feel like sometimes I'm rushing, trying to do so much. Okay, so I'm going to add this little trim. I think I'm going to have to do the rest of the decor again because I'm trying to keep these videos very minimal in length because, you know, some people lose their... I cut out this little tab. Sorry, I'm off camera. So we're going to tuck that one right there. And I have one of my little paper clips that I made. And I thought that I could add that. Let's see. Uh -huh. Could we add it here? No, we can't. So I thought we add it here. Maybe one of these pages just to give it some accent. I, like I said, I'm trying to leave some of this stuff so that a person can just journal and write because that's exactly what it's for. Um, and, and so I think that it's appropriate for them to you could probably put that there and trim that off just a tad bit down here. For them to, you know, write in it. So you can put that there. That'll fit perfect there. And this is again from the collection. Let's see 
what else I find? Let's put that one there. Enjoy the journey from the Tim Holtz collection. Working desk, there's a mess on my desk, guys. I mean, do I want it down here? Yeah, let's go down here. Yes, down there. Okay. And we have another little pretty tag that we can tuck here. And I have another, um, this is from the same collection that I got from Young Sue from Crafter's Companion. So let's run this little scrap through. For my desk wobbling. Okay. I like these. They're so cute. They're so adorable. So we're going to add that one right there for a little pull tab. And that can go there. Mm. Trying to find a button, guys. That's why I am searching. You can hear me searching through my little basket of buttons. Okay, let's put this button right there. look. Have that one there, that there. Oh, simple, but still, you know. It gives her an idea of what she wants to do. Let's see what else I find. these little envelopes that I made. So let's go ahead and glue these up using the um, We Are Memory punch board for envelopes. The mini, this is the mini one though. Make sure we don't seal our pockets or envelopes. And then we can just add little tags in here, little miscellaneous tags. Let's punch this out. Random little tags, you know. Let's get another one of my paper clips. these in with a little bit of um I think I want to put buttons I just cover up these little holes I don't even know why I punched out the holes probably because I thought I was going to use it don't know all right so we could probably put this one here 
like so. And then she's gotten her little collection, these little miniature envelopes. And we can fold those like that, like that, and like that. Let's see what we tuck in here. And this is from the collection. So we could probably put one of these tickets in there. That fit in there. Yeah, that'll fit in there. I know I'm making this really skimped out. <laughs> and I apologize for that, but There, let's get a button. I'll grab button from all kinds of directions, guys. It'd be a case you haven't noticed. The ones on my right typically don't always aren't threaded. So we're just gonna go with one that's not threaded. Not there. Those are these. It's a full uh, envelope inside an envelope, right? 